Okay, so if you got landscape lights like this and they're not working, it's a good chance it's an easy fix. They're not ready to be thrown out yet. So here is a low voltage light that obviously is not working. The power is on, but it's not working. And this is the last light at the end of a couple lights. So this is the main power wire coming in. And then you can see that this is power going to. And there right there you see it turned on. That tells us the problem is this connection here. These are horrible connections. And so what we want to do is replace this with a better connection and the lights should be good to go. They are not broke completely. Easy fix. It's a good idea to turn the power off before you start working. This is a low voltage system so it's not as big a deal but just go ahead and turn the power off. Then what I'm doing, I'm just going to cut the main wire here. Okay, so this is my main power wire coming in. So in this case, and these types of lights, especially the LEDs, a lot of times it's important to make sure that these two wires line up exactly rightly with these wires and right orientation. So you can see on this wire I've got some lettering on it and then a smooth wire. On this wire I've got a groove wire and a smooth wire. It just so happens that the groove wire goes with my wire with the labels on it and the smooth wire goes with the smooth wire here. So that's how I know which wire is which. So you can go ahead and then cut this off. And again, if I take this apart Okay, so the way this works is these little grooves here, metal things, all they do is they pierce this wire. They make these holes and the holes touches the copper and the wire and that's what makes your connection. Unfortunately, after being outside for a while, they don't work too well. They get caught up, corroded, whatever, and they're just horrible connections. So we need to do something a little bit better than this. So what we're going to do is directly take the wires from here and connect them to here. A little bit better connection. We're good to go. I'm going to use these things here that are rated for outside and uh, underground outdoor connections so we'll see how well they work. They're pretty cool, they look pretty cool, they're basically wire nuts with a cap and some gel inside to help keep out the elements so we'll see how well they do. So first things first, what I want to do is make sure to strip a good amount of this wire. This is a thinner wire so I'm going to strip it back here. Okay. There we go, and then now we're going to strip some of this one as well. Get it started here. So we want to strip enough wire back. About here is probably good. And we'll strip this one back as well to about here. Okay, all we need to do now is match up the wires, like I said, so we know that the letter side goes to the wire with the groove on it here. That's just this particular scenario. Go ahead and start, just give a little pinch to the wires. Kind of start them together. Then I'm going to take my wire nut here, stick it over the wire, start twisting. They're twisting, you can feel the wires catch. And then keep twisting, keep twisting, keep twisting. Let it get nice and snug. And there we go. And you can see some of the gel came out, and that's good because that's coating the wires. Good deal. So now I got to the other side. Now, for demonstration's sake, I went ahead and I did turn the power back on. Again, this is a low voltage system. It's better to work with the power off, but for demonstration purposes. So, as you can see, when I make a connection here, light is lighting up. So, same thing. I'm going to kind of start this. Again, this is low voltage, so I can touch this. If this was a 120 volt system, this would be very bad. And then I am going to stick this on like this and twist. You can feel the wires catch. Twist, 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 twist. Okay, you can see the grease come out and that is good stuff. And you can see our light there is on. I think you can see it. So pretty simple fix. Again, no need to throw out these lights. 99% of the time it's just a weak connection. Fix that connection and you're good to go. If you found this helpful, please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching. I'm Joe Kistel.